Zephyr Teachout is a candidate for New York State Attorney General, the primary coming up on September 13th. Her website is Zephyr for New York. Uh, actually, it's Z E P H Y R 4 N Y dot com. And she's on the line right now. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Wonderful. So you'll be uh, up this way today. Is that correct? That, that's absolutely right. I am right now doing a Trump corruption tour. Um, you know, I'm an expert in anti-corruption law. In fact, I sued Donald Trump three days after he took office. I was one of the lawyers representing people who work in the restaurant and hospitality industry who've had to compete against Trump businesses for foreign business. Mm-hmm. And it's, it's, it's a blatant violation of our Constitution that the president, any federal officer, is taking foreign cash um, while being a federal officer. It's, just a, it's a big conflict of interest, and it's a, a blatant constitutional violation. I really want to highlight that because it's one of the things that, as Attorney General, um, I will pursue and, and really be able to take on some of the lawlessness we see in the Trump administration. So you, you have to be a big, a big, big fan of uh, Chris Collins, then. Well, I uh, <laughs> look, it's it's actually really a tragedy because you hear about insider trading, and the thing you got to realize here is this is a quarter of a three quarters of a million dollars stolen from the public. Um, you know, when you have insider trading, it's using information he has no business to use. I read the indictment. It's very damning. And I, in fact, I, I wrote this book, Corruption in America, about the history of anti-corruption laws, and I dropped off a copy of that book at, at Collins' office, as well as at uh, Carl Palladino's uh, office, and left a book for Roger Stone as well. And I'm, I'm bringing a book to Donald Trump. Um, you know, it is so important that we understand what corruption can do to our society. It's already doing to our society. Uh, it's quite interesting that uh, Carl Palladino has already come out. Um, he is ready to go. It's almost like he was waiting for Collins to make his announcement. It looks like Palladino is going to be running for that seat. Well, one of the things I want, I want to make sure people focus on is as important as the congressional elections are, there's also a really critical role that the attorney general can play. Um, and so, look, I'm a Democrat. I really believe it's important to elect Democrats. I, I want a Democrat to win that seat. Um, but we also have to be aware that there's some of the behaviors of the Trump administration and Trump associates which are uh, you know, violating core anti-corruption laws. And those are things that uh, an attorney general can take on in a way that Congress can't. And uh, yeah. I bring... I'm very independent. I'm, it's, not just, it's not just Trump. I'm willing to stand up to anybody who I think and um, investigate anybody who I think has a problem with corruption. And we have more than, unfortunately, more than enough of that here in New yeah, York. Yeah, well, it's like going to a lake where you know that every time you throw your rod in, you're going to pull out a fish. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's been... Uh, I, I wish that wasn't true. I know, <laughs> my my experience terrible. is painfully relevant at yeah. this time. Uh, what are you... Yeah. Uh, what, um, uh, Mark Molinaro um, seems to be... Uh, he's a moderate. Uh, seems to be polling quite well uh, as we move into the fall. Uh, Cuomo has so much corruption uh, around him, Cynthia Nixon. Well, well if you, and, I, and I'm sorry, unfortunately, I'll, uh, I'll get back on the show at some other point, but, but I, but I want to point out, if, if you're concerned about corruption in New York government, the, the office best suited to investigate corruption, whether it's big donors sure. um, or uh, big wigs in either political party, is the New York Attorney General's office. And we've got an election four weeks away, and I'll tell you, I think, you know, one of the reasons I wanted to come on the show is a lot of people don't know about that election. Right. Um, but if, if you really want somebody to investigate corruption and get to the root issues, that's the attorney general's job. All right, the and, primary. And, 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 and that's what I am fully prepared to do, I think, as your listeners may remember uh, mm-hmm. or may not, but I was outspoken against the governor closing the Moreland Commission to investigate corruption. I do, and, yeah. uh, I, 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 I'm not going to be quiet until we clean house uh, at the federal level or at home. Uh, that Democratic primary is uh, a big one. Uh, it's coming up, of course, on September 13th. We'll do it again. Uh, uh, we'll see you in Utica. Thank Zephyr, so, teach out. Yeah. Thanks so much. I'll see you in Utica. All Thank right. you so much for having Thanks. me on. Bye-bye. 840. Just a quick note, and we found out from her campaign yesterday, because we asked this question. If you follow her on social media. On Twitter, you, specifically. Yeah. It says Clinton, New York. Yeah, I, I was going to ask about that. Um, what? So Andrew got she, the answer. But it's actually Clinton There's another Clinton. in Hudson Valley. There's another County, Clinton, New York. Hudson County. Yeah, there Clinton, is another Clinton, New York. I yeah, had no idea. 
Isn't I that did crazy? not know that. I don't How, believe it. I didn't know that it could be possible. I didn't either. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that nuts? There's well, two you, Clinton if, New Yorks? If you talk to people from the Mohawk Valley, they'll tell you it's not C-L-I-C-L-I-N-T-O-N. It's C-L-I-N-T-I-N. Clinton. Clinton. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it's set up here. So maybe they, it was supposed to be spelled differently. Clinton. I don't know.